subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty Exam. Prerequisite for the exam. Candidates applying for the exam need to have knowledge, and experience that include. First, candidates are recommended to hold an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, or a current Associate Level Certification, AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate, AWS Certified Developer, Associate, or AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, Associate. Second, they must have advanced knowledge of AWS networking concepts, and technologies. Third, candidates should have a minimum of five years of hands-on experience in architecting, and implementing network solutions. Fourth, they should know about advanced networking architectures, and interconnectivity options, for example, IPVPN, MPLS, or VPLS, including, networking technologies within the OC model, and how they affect implementation decisions. Fifth, it is recommended to have knowledge of CIDR, and subnetting, IP4, and IP6, with an understanding of IP6 transition challenges. Sixth, candidates must be familiar with the generic solutions for network security features, including, WAF, IDS, IPS, DDoS protection, and economic denial of service, or sustainability. Seventh, they should know about developing automation scripts, and tools that include, routing architectures, including static, and dynamic, multi-region solutions for a global enterprise, and highly available connectivity solutions, for example, DX, VPN. Now we will talk about, learning path. AWS provides an advanced networking specialty learning path, that is designed for individuals who want to validate their advanced networking technical skills, and experience in designing, and implementing AWS, and hybrid IT network architectures at scale. Candidates with this will learn, how the network impacts infrastructure performance, security, availability, and integration with AWS services. However, it is recommended that individuals should have technical AWS cloud experience, related to advanced networking before beginning this learning path. Exam Details In the AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam, there will be multiple choice questions or multiple answer types of questions. To complete the exam, candidates will only have 170 minutes. This exam will cost 300 US dollars and can be given in English, Japanese, Korean, and simplified Chinese languages. However, the validity of the AWS certification is three years. Now we will discuss about exam scheduling. Candidates applying for AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam can register by signing into AWS.training and click certification in the top navigation. Then, they have to click the AWS Certification Account button, followed by Schedule New Exam. There the candidates have to select the Advanced Networking Specialty Exam, and click either the Schedule at PSI, or Schedule at Pearson VUE button. Then, you will then be redirected to the Test Delivery Provider's Scheduling page, where you will complete your exam registration. Course Structure First, Design, and Implement Hybrid IT Network Architectures at Scale which compromises 23% weightage for this exam. Second, design and implement AWS networks, which compromises 29% weightage for this exam. Third, automate AWS tasks, which compromises 8% weightage for this exam. Fourth, configure network integration with application services, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Fifth, design and implement for security and compliance, which compromises 12% weightage for this exam. Sixth, manage, optimize, and troubleshoot the network, which compromises 13% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course structure topics in detail. Domain 1, design, and implement hybrid IT network architectures at scale. It contains five subtopics which are, first, implementing connectivity for hybrid IT. Second, Given a scenario for deriving an appropriate hybrid IT architecture connectivity solution. Third, explaining the process to extend connectivity using AWS Direct Connect. Fourth, evaluating design alternatives that leverage AWS Direct Connect. Fifth, defining routing policies for hybrid IT architectures. Domain 2, design, and implement AWS networks. It contains six subtopics which are. First, applying AWS networking concepts. Second, 
given customer requirements for defining network architectures on AWS. Third, proposing optimized designs based on the evaluation of an existing implementation. Fourth, determining network requirements for a specialized workload. Fifth, deriving an appropriate architecture based on customer and application requirements. Sixth, evaluating and optimizing cost allocations given a network design and application data flow. Domain 3, Automate AWS Tasks. It contains two subtopics which are First, evaluating automation alternatives within AWS for network deployments. Second, evaluating tool-based alternatives within AWS for network operations and management. Domain 4, Configure Network Integration with Application Services. It contains six subtopics which are First, leveraging the capabilities of Route 53. Second, evaluating DNS solutions in a hybrid IT architecture. Third, determining the appropriate configuration of DHCP within AWS. Fourth, given a scenario for determining an appropriate load balancing strategy within the AWS ecosystem. Fifth, determining a content distribution strategy to optimize for performance. Sixth, reconciling AWS service requirements with network requirements. Domain 5, Design and Implement for Security and Compliance. It contains four subtopics which are First, evaluating design requirements for alignment with security and compliance objectives. Second, evaluating monitoring strategies in support of security and compliance objectives. Third, assessing AWS security features for managing network traffic. Fourth, utilizing encryption technologies to secure network communications. Domain 6, Manage, Optimize, and Troubleshoot the Network. It contains one subtopics which is Given a scenario for troubleshooting, and resolve a network issue. Exam Policies Amazon Web Services provides exam policies for candidates, to help them understand about the terms, and procedures of the certifications exam. These exam policies include general information, training, and certification details that are required before and after the exam. Some of them are First, exam retake policy. Candidates who do not pass an exam, or got failed must have to wait for 14 days, before they are eligible to retake the exam. However, there is no limit on exam attempts, until the test taker has passed. And, for every exam attempt, the full registration price must be paid. Second, exam reschedule policy. AWS provides candidates to cancel or reschedule an exam up to 24 hours before your scheduled appointment without additional fees. However, for rescheduling candidates have to go on their AWS certification account and click the Manage PSI exams or Manage Pearson VUE exams button. And, if scheduled with PSI, then click the View Details button on the scheduled exam you wish to manage. Else for Pearson VUE, you can select the scheduled exam you wish to manage. And, once you reach the 24-hour window, before your scheduled appointment, you will not be able to cancel or reschedule your exam. Third, AWS Recertification Policy. AWS certifications are only valid for three years. So, in order to maintain AWS certified status, candidates have to go through the recertification process. Recertification helps candidates to strengthen the overall value of AWS certification, and show employers that they have credentials that cover the latest AWS knowledge, skills, and best practices. Now we will discuss about, Preparation Guide for AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam. First, AWS Official Page. Amazon recommends that before taking the AWS certification exam, candidates should have enough hands-on experience with relevant AWS products and services. As Amazon offers its own courses for preparation and sample tests too, candidates can take readiness training and practice exams in order to test your knowledge in a timed environment. These are also available on the official site. However, candidates should gather all the information about the exam using the official site. Second, AWS Training AWS provides candidates with training that helps them to build competence, confidence, and credibility through practical cloud skills. In this, candidates can choose to learn online at their own pace, or they can learn from an accredited AWS instructor built by experts at AWS. This will be beneficial for both beginners, who are building on existing IT skills, or professionals with cloud knowledge. AWS offers three types of training that include 1. AWS Training 
The free digital training is an on-demand digital course that helps candidates to learn new cloud skills and services when and where it's convenient for you. 2. In classroom training, there are live classes delivered virtually or in person with accredited AWS instructors who teach in-demand cloud skills and best practices using a mix of presentations, discussion, and hands-on labs. 3. In private training, there are virtual or in-person classes with accredited AWS instructors that teach in-depth AWS cloud skills in a private environment. Third, white papers. Candidates preparing for the AWS can take the help of AWS white papers for preparation. These are the authentic study resources, which can help candidates during understanding about the AWS services. However, white papers are basically the PDF formats of the topics, which you can find on the official page of Amazon certifications. White papers not only strengthen your preparation process, but also helps you build a strong strategy to lay your focus on. AWS offers sample papers to assist the candidates with acquiring additional knowledge and skills to prepare for the certification exams. Fourth, reference books. Books can provide an advantage to learn and understand things more accurately. For the AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam, there are various books available which you can find online or in libraries. Some of the books are as follows. 1. AWS Certified Advanced Networking Official Study Guide, Specialty Exam. 2. AWS Certified Advanced Networking, Specialty Exam Guide for Building Knowledge and Technical Expertise as an AWS Certified Networking Specialist. 5. Joining Study Groups. One thing that will be beneficial during the exam preparation time is to join study groups. These groups will help you to stay connected with the other people who are on the same pathway as yours. Moreover, here you can start any discussion about the issue related to the exam, or any query. By doing so, you will get the best possible answer to your query. Sixth, exam practice tests. This can be a very essential part that can help you to prepare better for the exam. That is to say, practice tests are important, as by assessing yourself with these tests, you will know about your weak and strong areas. So. By practicing you will be able to improve your answering skills, that will result in saving a lot of time. Moreover, the best way to start doing practice tests is after completing one full topic, as this will work as a revision part for you. So, make sure to find the best practice sources. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.